And was that any better? What do you think? Who's Anne? Um, when it first started, I liked it. But then I was like leaning towards no, and then I I was liking it again. I mean, it was a hit or miss with with that one. And was your daughter dancing? Was, da- was your daughter dancing? No, now she actually fell asleep. Okay. Okay. So now, gee, that sounds like our show. It has yeah. a tendency to do that to people. Okay, that was the that was two, the same people who uh, sang the first song, Yala Habibi, which brings us to Chad. Good evening, Chad. How are you tonight, Chad? Hey guys, it's Chad. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Hi, Chad. Oh man. Doing great. Uh, busy, busy start of the summer, boy. I'll tell you. That's good. Hey, listen, we, we got a very important question for you. What, you what is Habibi? What's that? What is Habibi? What makes you think he knows? I have no idea. I'll ask him. <laughs> What's Habibi? Yeah. I know a BB is something you put into a gun and you shoot. No, no, this is Habibi. Oh, Habibi. Habibi. I think oh, it means. I don't know what a Habibi is. I think it means friends. That was just a song we were Habibi. we were listening to. It was called Yala Habibi. All right, we've got another caller joining our group. From oh, this is going to be fun time, ladies and gentlemen. Is and it, good evening, and uh, who do we have on? Is this now? is this Naj? Hello. Indeed it is. Naj. Hey, hey Naj, how oh, are you? Naj, and we've Naj. got Elisa. We've Naj. got Chad just joined us. Uh, so. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Hey, Naj, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing fine, man. You know how it is, man. Oh, that's rinse, good, brother. When you rinse face in people's heads, you know when they call in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Chad, before I forget, I want to ask you a question. Now, you, you always say that the, the Bible is a historical, it's, a star, it's, it's historical literature. Where, where do... Uh, yeah, it, the, what, it, it is the... What, go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish what you can say. It is the... Well, I was going to say, it's not, just, it's not just a history book. It's one of the most completed history, history books accurate of any other book of antiquity in the world. Okay, I've got a question for you. Yep. There was an age where there were dinosaurs. Where did they fit in the Bible? What time period? I, I didn't under, I couldn't hear the question, Felix. Say it again. Dinosaurs, where did they fit into the... Uh, to, into the well, that's a very uh, good question. Actually, in, in the first five books of the Old Testament, the Pentateuch, if you will, if you're a if you're a Jewish believer, um, they mention the word dino, uh, dragons, and men dwell with dragons, and it just so happens in the Euphrates River, parts of the Euphrates River, there's an article I'm going to send you guys. They found a human footprint alongside of dinosaur footprint, and it was fossilized near each other, and it baffles uh, science because, of course. Science, well, I, I don't want to say science as if Christians can't be scientists. I will say secularists have said that it's impossible for men to dwell with dinosaurs because dinosaurs died long before men have evolved. But that's not true at all. In fact, uh, we do see the word dragon uh, many times. Sometimes it takes in the form of Satan. And then other times it's in the form of various large lizards. Uh, and there's actually a great resource I'll refer to you guys because I'm not an expert in this area. His name is Ken Ham, and he deals with the Answers in Genesis series. He gets into Genesis and shows you where dinosaurs are in the Old Testament. In fact, you may want to check out Kent Hovind, H-O-V-I-N-D, at secondpeter3.com. He also dives into that, too. Yeah, I remember that reference from last time, that secondpeters.com. Yep, very good, yeah. very good. <clears throat> Robbing uh, good religious people, uh, selling cheap items, and passing off his nonsense as real historical. Well, <laughs> Naz, um, 
you were you were completely and and I'm and I mean this wholeheartedly. I'm but sure I went back do. and just listened. I just listened to the show a second time, you know, just to hear our conversation to be sure that I was saying everything as accurately as I could. And the mm. things that you said are so dead wrong. I just wanted to oh, let sure. Mark and Felix know. Oh, I mean, you're, you're inaccurate in almost everything you said, including I'm, the history. I'm sure. I'm sure, according to you, the man who studies a Bible. No, you said that Rome existed um, long before the Old Testament existed. Um, you said that it was Rome didn't even start till 6,000 years ago, and um, we don't have any. We know that Rome started as a world empire not until about 44 to one, uh, 100 to 44 uh, BC. So it's impossible yeah, I, for I actually Rome. gave I gave no approximate number on Rome, but uh, as far as uh, Rome actually, being, gotta go back and listen, my friend. Yes, you did. You said it actually yeah, a couple times. Yeah, but as far as Rome being a, a part of antiquity, I, I don't think that's something that's really up for question. Uh, yeah, one of the first ancient uh, great empires of the world. Uh, no, it wasn't first, the first. It wasn't deep. the first great empire, I, sir. It was. See, it was actually see, the fifth oh, okay. great empire. So now, now I see what we have. We have a listening problem, right? Here. Well, because I just want to show you error because you, no, you no, were in no. fact saying, sir, sir, hold on a second. I just, just right now, I said one of these, and then you immediately said that I said it was the first. So either you have an honesty problem or you have a listening problem. Well, I'm showing your error. You're not right in anything that you say because you don't. You want to. Sir, you want to. You want sir, to try to knock ten, down Christianity, ten, but you're not correct. Sir, ten seconds ago, I said <laughs> one of the ancient societies, and one second later, you immediately said no. It was not the first. I no, I said it wasn't was one first. of the first. But that's not what I said. I said you you're you're making it sound like Rome is one of the first civilizations that ever were. I said one of the first. And you keep saying that I keep telling you that it was the first. I didn't say that. That's what you said, sir. Sorry. No, no sir. So, like I said, we either have a listening problem or an honesty problem. I don't know which one. I think, we, look, I think look, you, you didn't this, listen to this, me. This is the way of any conversation you have with somebody who, who's gone through some trauma in life and has found some religion or, or some anchor that, that's given them some grounding. If this makes you feel better, man, like I told you last time, man, that's good for you. That's a great thing. But when you start to spread it out and say that this is a historical book and that all of these things actually happened, that's uh -huh. when you're getting outside of your understanding. And at that point, man, it, it's just hard to listen to anything you say. Like you said, you listen to the show two times, okay? And then you come back and you're quoting the same so-called biblical but scholar? Like, I mean, hey Nas, on, okay? Nas, out of all the respect, hold on, Nas, hold on, hey Nas, hold on, out of all the respects, the reason why I mentioned that is because I'm making a defense for my faith. Now, I have reason to believe that the, that the Bible is not only historically accurate, but it is going against the thing that you said in the last show. Now, Listen. now, if you're going to make a defense for, hold on, Nas, if you're going to make a defense for something. It ought to be accurate, right? Because yes, otherwise, still on. the Bible is just making you look wrong. It's, it's you're wrong, and then you're and then you're going around telling people something that's not even true. So part of my job, is out of all due respect to you, is out of love completely. And I know that's hard for you to to gather, okay? But this is my ministry to try to talk to people and reason with them. Um, you can't give yeah. false information yeah. the, and then not the, believe the, the information. Not it's kind only, of, hold on, Nas, hold on, hold yeah, on. Not, not only it's is like, the it's like if, you, if I made you a map, Nas, it's like if I made you a map and I and I wrote the map wrong on purpose and then I handed you the map and then when you got lost, I said, Nas, how come you couldn't find your way? You said, well, you yeah, wrote that, wrong that, map. That is a great analogy for the Bible because actually what we're talking about is somebody oh, using so far. The Bible some, somebody <laughs> yeah, somebody somebody using a so called historical book that has no substance in fact, no substance uh -huh. in truth. It's simply mythology and also storytelling. I think people can learn great lessons from the Bible if they read it from that perspective. If you read it from the perspective where you think it's true, I have doubts about your sanity and also have doubts about your logic and ability to read it. Now, well, so far, what, you're not, I don't have about, a reason to believe that well, you I, I, I'm, I'm not it. finished talking. I'm not finished talking. It's okay with you. Because after you 
condescended to tell me what you just did, I'd like to open well, my throat. Assume a that if you want. I'd like to open my throat a little, if you don't mind. But anyway, getting back to the point. That Bible of yours that, that you think is a historical document, that is a historical record of this earth, and now you just told us there's a footprint next to a, a ancient dinosaur. Do you understand how far apart man and dinosaur are as far as when they walk this earth? Like, you're comparing those two and saying they walk the earth together? Then you started talking you know, about wizards? Like, I, like, I, think, I think you may need uh, professional help. Honestly. Hey, Naz. Hey, Naz, do you believe that we come from a rock 4.8 billion years ago? Sir, I have no idea. That's, okay, that's so the, how, do you know, the, how do you know that no, the Bible no, 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 is no. not that, true? That's the, that's the great part of this. The person who's willing to say, I don't know, I need to explore more, is open to learn. The person who says, I know because I have this book written by men so, that is the word of God, you're an insane person. But Naz... You're, you're, you're speaking from them of an authority that doesn't belong to you. you know no, that would be you. You're, saying, you're the you're one saying, telling you're me saying, you I don't know. trust I'm the Bible. I don't like know. the Bible. But then you're saying, you're saying in another breath, well, I don't know if I trust my own We don't view. know. You're telling me you do. Of you're the I one don't. with the problem. I have reason to believe. Yeah, That's reason to believe. Reason to believe. Something called faith, yes, which means what? Not actual documentation, not actual references, not actual records. I don't, I don't know. What you're, I don't know faith. what you're talking about, sir. I, I that's, know. That's, that's not really an accurate definition of that faith. <laughs> I know you don't know, and that's the problem. That's, someday, not, man. Um, someday, someday, you'll have to put down that 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 so-called childlike belief in things that not only can't be proven to you but have no real uh, history of being proven and actually start dealing with the real world dealing with things maybe, that, maybe that, that don't you know anything. actually prove hey, no, it's pos- is it possible that we don't know anything? I'm, I'm just asking from your from your, no. Um, your no, that's not um, possible. point of view no, that's you not don't possible. think it's possible to know anything? No, I don't think it's possible that we don't know anything. We went from hunter so gathering. You know is true? We went from no. hunter gathering societies to to great complex so countries no. all over the world. Is it just globe. your opinion that it's wrong? No. No. Is it just no. your opinion that it's wrong? No. Well, you just said you can't know anything for sure. So no, you, I told. Sure? I told. No, no, no. Once again, here we go with the semantics. I told you I can't know the origin for sure, and I'm willing to admit that. You claim to know the origin for sure because you're delusional. And now, as we try to advance the conversation, you try to use semantics to sit on one word because you can't prove what you're saying. It's okay. I'm not in it to prove what I'm saying. Um, but now as you're defining something because you obviously don't agree with me, right? No, I'm telling you what you're selling is nonsense. It, it, it's been proven to be nonsense, but you believe in it. But That's you just awesome. said you don't know that for sure. If, if you could hold it to yourself, it'd be, a, it'd be a nice, helpful thing. But the fact that you want to get this out here to the world, that's the problem. As, as, I, as I told you last time, the atrocities of the world and the amount that you people are responsible for is an indictment in itself. Yeah, I don't know what that people. means. Yeah, I don't, the I don't of that. that. I, I thought the they, people I thought of that your faith. world that we live in should be full of tolerance towards one another. So you're not very tolerant towards. No, humanity. you're not very tolerant. And, and that's the thing well, that, I'm, that I'm game that you guys like. Guys. I don't know what you're, what you're referring to. I'm talking about what blood. I'm talking about the blood-soaked history of your religion. Well, um, no, that's your opinion, um, and I don't think they should. Pull-